in the mid 90s, I guess it was, when I was on quite a roll as a biographer, I wrote, uh, I wrote a book called Blackbird, The Life and Times of Paul McCartney. This is an old paperback edition. You know, it, it was, I had like the big three, which was Dark Horse, Blackbird, and Lennon in America. Those were the heavy hitters for me. And uh, they pissed a lot of people off, which I can't say displeases me. I don't want to intentionally upset anybody, but I'm interested in, if I'm going to sit down, you know, you don't write books, you bleed them. And if I'm going to sit in a fucking chair, you know, at a desk for this, in this case, three years or something, you know, I'm not going to bullshit myself or anybody else. And people like Paul McGarten, you got a whole army of PR people that can spin their shit. And I just, that's not what I do. And I even coined a word, for, very, very offensive word, for the people that are now in their 60s and 70s that are really still digging the Beatles and thinking it's like some, you know, very important part of their life. I call them beatards. And uh, they, don't, they, don't, they don't like that very much. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm not here to insult my readership. But then there's the other people, huh? That are having a more objective, intelligent view, and they're willing to understand that their heroes are human beings. The only beings that inhabit this sphere, time and space, are pretty much human or animal. So, you know, the thing is, all these guys, all these characters, Human beings, very talented people. I'm talented, you're talented. Talent is not such a big thing, but unrequited talent is very common. People that actually spin it into something like these guys, uh, this piece is another story, and I understand how we have to remember them, and I can't say, I, geez, I made a lot of money on the, from these books and um, on their backs, if you want to be really, you know, uh, direct about it lived very well from the Beatles. So I always like to say I squeezed out that last million and so it's actually nine uh, from the Beatles. Um, but I gave value for what I, uh, for what I took. And that value is a little something which seems to be in relatively short supply in reference to our heroes in 2060 and that's truth. Truth. I never put anything in my books that I couldn't verify three different ways, which is a standard journalistic thing, that you have to have three different ways to verify that shit. And I would do that. I would talk to people. I'd run around the world, you know, and they'd give me a big advance, and I'd go all around and find the people that nobody ever thought about talking to. For this book, I worked with Denny Lane. Denny Lane was the, the, the rhythm guitarist in Wings, uh, and he also founded the Moody Blues. Um, way back when, in their first incarnation. And I, I, Denny was living at my house with his wife, Jojo. Well, that's another whole other story, Jojo. God bless her. Re God rest her soul. Um, Jojo and Denny stayed at my house, and they knew everything about the McCartneys because they were with them for, you know, years, like eight or nine years on a daily basis, moment to moment. So I got a lot of stuff in this book that people don't know about Paul McCartney and maybe don't want to know. Um, but if you don't want to know it, I, I think you ought to look, take a look at yourself. And, and you know, because I, the only thing I got time for at 62 is the truth. I don't like the bullshit. So, Blackbird, The Life and Times of Paul McCartney is coming out again on my own imprint, which is called Icon Editions, because we don't need publishers anymore. All they do is rip your shit off, you know, sell the book for 30 bucks and you get a nickel, you know. So, thank God that shit's over. Now we just have to deal with iTunes and iBooks. But anyway, it's coming out again. We've reworked it. I don't just like a lot of people do, is just scan them and put them out again. No, no, no. I, I, we scan the original and then we add and we subtract and we you know, put stuff in to make it uh, more compelling. What I don't do and what I haven't uh, done, and uh, publishers always think you should, is to update them right up back up to 200. 2016 but you know what I thought out of respect for my books and the time that I wrote them like this book I think ends in maybe 2000 or something is I didn't feel the need that I just had to you know put filler in there and fill in the last and Paul McCartney's still on the road 
and he got a divorce, and now he's married to another lady. It's not very interesting, really, is it? It's just, you know, Paul McCartney is when he was with the Beatles and when, they, when he was with Wings. And I had unique access to that by having, um, well, written 24 books in the Beatles previously, but also having Denny Lane, his best friend and songwriting partner for about a decade, uh, living at my house and w working on this book with me. Uh, so Blackbird coming out again for my kind of editions. And I, I, I hope you'll keep an open mind and you'll dig it. And uh, I, I do my best and I don't have time to, uh, to bullshit around in my books or in anything that I do. So it's sincerely done and I, I hope that you'll appreciate it. Take a look, take a look. And if you like it, okay. If you don't like it, let me know. We can talk, we can, we can talk about it. Okay.